Alrighty, there is sound. Let's play this in full. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. Those are supposed to be for everybody. I only took a few. Yeah, I took a few hundred. All right, put that back. Okay. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. That's where all the shrimp's at. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. It's always so good. All right. I think this is very, very close. My main reaction that I had was there's still something soft about him in some of the movements that we talked about before. So if you if you listen to his his voice, moving down the volume a little bit, but if you listen to him. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. Like it has there's some there's just some energy peaks and there's a certain harshness to it. And if you turn off the sound, if you just look at him, hey, oh, it's just it's just very soft. That's probably my main overall comment. Whoa, easy. Whoa. Even on this here, when he goes, whoa, and he tenses up, you can tense up the fingers a little bit. Nothing crazy. But still enough where you really feel that that tension is not just in controllers here, but it's his whole body that tenses up because he just saw that. Oh, easy on the and then same thing here when you, you might have a bit of a uphole shrimp, a bit of a sharper move down with this arm. And then here. Supposed to be for every and everybody for that, I would have a little, I know this is a bit late, but late as in like a late comment but it could be everybody, everybody a bit of a, a root raise like the root was up and down a little bit those are supposed to be for everybody like this it's a quite the energy change there those are to be for everybody. so that could have a little bit to me like a little bit of a root up and down even with a little bit of a lean forward just have a little bit of energy in there Makes me up every time. Yeah, took a few hundred. I put that back. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. And the rest is okay because to me, then it and then it's all like, yeah, I do that, do this, and come on. Because to me, this attitude is different because that's kind of his, like his shtick, his spiel. That's how how he's, you know, he's wanting to be seen, and blah blah blah. Versus that at the beginning here, like is an actual, like he has a physical reaction to seeing this, and that's why I feel like. It would be great if we could differentiate the movements just a bit more from this and with that little bit of a moment through there and then the rest is just him the way you have it. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. And I think Whoa. she's she's great. Whoa, easy. Whoa. Whoa. That picky thing. And I know this is super difficult because straight legs and walks and everything she still has that overall feeling of having her legs always bent at the same time it also doesn't make her look very strong in a way but maybe that's in character because she is just kind of giving up and moving away so i don't know like that's maybe something you can decide if you want if you want to push that like polishy things would be when she lifts that foot here, watch out, there's a bit of a... That angle is the same and only the foot roll kind of pops back into a straight. And only now are we continuing with a rotation in that foot. Just this policy wise feels a bit weird to start a foot roll. And then that angle kind of stays the same and gets off the ground. And again, kind of mostly the same. And now we're starting a rotation. So watch out for stuff like that. For polishy things like this foot seems like it's coming straight down. It could have an angle out so that the underside is a bit visible to us. Even this here could have a little bit of a twist in wide. It's a little polishy things in terms of axes, so it's not just all one axis. Whoa, easy. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. And you might argue maybe even through there when she goes, whoa, whoa like that. On that lean back, she might then have a little bit of a twist out on that foot. Uh, pivoting off the toes, so she's a bit more, maybe a bit cliche in a pose, but like toes in, just a bit more uncomfortable because she he just got she just got yelled at. And 
and maybe again this is just something for you depending on how much you want to go in there when he goes took a few hundred like that's an insult right there and maybe that could have a moment of a change in the face maybe just a slight change or maybe even a surprise to it in the eyebrows if you watch her face she just blinks but there's there is she's just listening but she's not quite reacting to such an insult it's only here where she goes oh okay there's a big change so a little polish she thinks so for her to react to stuff that, that she's listening to. And watch out for this. This is... I don't remember seeing that last time, but... And if, if, if it's the same, I apologize for, for missing it. When she goes back here with that whole body, that's quite the... In some ways, it's not a huge move like he does at the beginning, right? When he goes back there. But when she has that move... It just feels like the head goes back which then pulls the, the rest of the body, which is great, and then the rest of the roots, so the whole thing is moving, but then it suddenly stops and even goes the other way. And it just, it feels, it feels a bit stiff, because everything feels like it's moving back this way. And with that, <gasps> like she is taken aback by all this and the movement, to me, it feels like you would go back and then ease into this more instead of going back. It would just be a stop versus this. And then she can deflate. And I like that you're starting with the fingers first there. And this. Oh, that's great. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. That's what I think that's pretty much it. Yo, keep this girl away from the ocean. Her <laughs> turn away. This is sad. <laughs> and I like that she even has is there stuff where she put it there. Oh, no, that's it, this section. I thought there was, like, maybe, like, some sauce on there. And then she had it close to her. But it looks like it's intersection because I'm seeing stuff here, too. I think that's that's mainly that. Oh, is he on the shrimp? Yeah, it's just the energy level on him. That's the main thing. Also, because it's the right beginning of the shot. You don't want, you really want to nail that. And even this, too. I will, maybe even this is super picky, but... And again, this comes super late, but just pushing that moment of, of of tension, maybe even straightening that triangle to more like this versus that that hanging floppy. Like that gives me less energy, you know, that he's all tense and like, easy on the shrimp, on the shrimp but then this feels soft. So not, not just the movement down here in terms of timing, but I think finger-wise, you could be, you know, in something like that angle, uh, fingers, when you're down here. Again, this is something I should have mentioned before, apologize, but just it's just strike, striking me just now that like, the movement and the pose, it's tensed it up a little bit. And even this one, if I'm following through with that note, even simplifying this a bit so it doesn't have that. Because that definitely, you know, with that look, it feels a bit soft. This might be super picky, but... For everybody? I only took a few. Yeah, I took a few hundred. <laughs> Literally every time it cracks me up. Put that back. That's better here on that silhouette. There, everything is great. There's so many great updates. And I'm saying all this just because you're mentioning in your email to be as picky as you would like. So it's, as always, like these notes are for you to dissect and go like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to use this or I'm going to use this. Like for me, picky, I know this seems probably where the eye box and the eyes will be, but given how much white there is left and right, I would slightly move that eyeball, uh, the pupil over just a bit, not to make him cross eye, but to give this a little bit more white, just a bit, just to see how it feels. I don't know if you have like shapes to maybe pull the skin back here. That's the only, sometimes, I don't know, I'm always kind of, experimenting during the final polish on eyes to move, you know, if you control in your eye boxes to move one separately just to kind of straighten them without getting into a wall-eyed wall look to, to the character. Whoa, easy on the shrimp. Easy on the shrimp. Oh, easy on the... And even here, again, if I'm following through all my pickiness, easy, on... easy. Take a frame or two out of that drop on that head. It's more easy, a bit of a sharper, sharper feel to it. Be for 
But I love stuff like this when you have that move. Shrimp. Even on this, like shrimp energy goes out. Even that arm moves. Like there's again, there's some really cool stuff in it. I'm just, I'm just falling through your email and be as picky as possible. And for shapes, I don't know. We have a bit of a move in. I'll bring that out a little bit. And you can almost straighten that one a bit more. Straight versus curves. This could have a little bit of a, a bend. Well, a bit of a bend for a bit more straight. Looking at like final polishy shape language things. Ocean. That's what all the shrimp said. <laughs> and this one, I will probably go the other way. Not saying that this is horrible, but the classic thing is to have this one higher, this one lower, just because you're looking to the left and now you're opening the eyes this way and you have a bit of a line of action that head like this. You know, you can even curve the nose a bit more if you want, but I'll probably do the opposite on the eyebrows. You probably had this all the time and I never saw this before. <laughs> this is revealing to be the worst critique ever. <laughs> Whoa, easy on the shrimp. It's good hair stuff too. Everybody? I only took a few. Yeah, I took a few hundred. Why put that back? That's some good keep alive too in that. Yeah, I mean again, there's a lot of really cool stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it at that before I go super crazy. Like here, I would say if you go back and you lean back, you're gonna tense a bit. So I would maybe tense up those fingers a bit. So he's holding that cup a bit more tightly. Like imagine you're standing straight and then you're leaning back. It's gonna take a little bit of effort and tensing up and all of the muscles and that could even radiate out into just the fingers, you know, like the, the middle finger could get closer for grouping here and then maybe tense up the pinky and then you can relax again. I know these are super picky things. All I'm seeing is just the same amount of gap distance here throughout. So these are kind of the, the super polishy things I would, I would put in. And I'm going to say that's that. I keep saying it, but and, you know, the closer comes the power, it's just noodling. And is it really making it better? Is it is it different? <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. Again, it's a great clip. I love it. Ever since Mentors, it's, it's been so great. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.